Hello everyone, my name is Gina. I'm a science teacher at Lebanon Private Desk School. Today we are doing a review for grade 8. We will start with the thunderstorm, what does meaning thunderstorm is, and how will be happen. We will talk about that. Thunderstorm is a usually brief to the heavy storm is that lasts over short, for a short time. It means this is kind for the weather is happening for the short time. They have something that will be dangerous, like strong wind. They have a strong wind and strong rain, and they have sound and this will be happen with the lighting lighting it means happen this one in the sky between two area we have an oppositely charge between positive um oppo uh, positive area charge with a negative charge area so in this moment with a positive and negative attract each other's produce lighting with a thunder, thunder happen when uh, the sound when you came when happened lighting this is about the survey others. Then we are going to talk about some device. Each device can be measured different things. They have a different name, measured for different things. We will start with a thermometer. Thermometer, as you know, this is device, this machine can be used to measure temperature. Barometer. Barometers can be used to measure air pressure. Wind soak and wind vane, both of them can be used for measuring wind direction. Finally, we have anemometer. Anemometer measuring to, uh, can, this device can be measured to wind speed. Thermometer to temperature, barometer, air pressures, wind soap, wind vane measured to wind direction. Anemometer can be used to measure wind speed. In this chapter, we will go now to talk about something is, some uh, will be uh, like a physical thing is. We talk about the motion, what's the motion? Motion is when an object changes the position by the race point, this is called uh, motion. In here, we talk about three different ways. Average speed, average accelerations, and what is force. Average speed, average speed equal total distance over total time. Total distance over total time. As you know, distance measuring by matter and time measuring by sig. So what's the unit for the average speed? Matter per sig. We have a question in here, Ziad sold us to story 72 matter. 72 matter, this is what? This is M. Uh, this is distance. It means using to away in the time. So how much time? 36 sig. The first uh, thing is in here is in each question in the exam have to know which information we have on the question what you need. To find out that, first step write down what's the rule using to solve the question. Average speed, you write down average speed equal total distance over total time. So how much total distance? 72 matter. Over how much total time? 36 matter. Uh, uh, in this moment, calculate 72 divided by 36, find out the result equal matter per sec. This is about average speed. Average acceleration, so uh, we have average speed and we have a velocity. Speed and velocity, they have the same unit, matter per sec, matter per sec. But velocity, they have a direction. It means when you're talking about velocity, have to say, 20 meter per sec is winds right left have to know what's in which direction but in the speed only about find out the uh, result after that we have what is the average acceleration it means what do you need in here we needed acceleration um somebody train that speed we have a speed the speed in here's um, we have a two speed in the average acceleration. We have a final speed and velocity and first velocity, initial velocity. We are over total time. It means we have a two velocity. This is the first one, V1, and this is a V2 because they have a difference between the number 10, change it to 20, and we have a time T. Say the average acceleration equal V2 how much? V2 20 minus 10 over 5 you say 20 minus 10 over 5 20 minus 10 equal 10 10 over 5 equal 2 2 what matter per 6 square why matter per 6 square because each axle each velocity in here matter per 6 and time also imagined by uh, 6 so when you say matter 
sig dot sig equal matter per six squared. This is about the unit of the acceleration. Finally, we're talking about the force. What's the force? It's the push or pull. The force depends for the direction. If you have two force, same direction, you can add in between them. But if you have two force, different direction, you can do with minus between them, subtract between them, by which number they have a greater number in this direction for greater direction. So in this one, talking about what is the net force? So find out net force. For what? For two force, the seven Newton south, this is the first force, and five Newton north. We have two force in here, different direction. I have to know each force in which direction. So you see net force equal, the greater one, seven Newton south, minus five Newton north. You say seven minus five, two. Which one, uh, which um, number greater one in this direction? Seven minus uh, five, two by south direction. Don't forget the unit, two Newton. This is about general review about this chapter. Thanks for your listening. Have a nice time.